not a huge fan of public speaking. <laughs> uh, this is a bit terrifying, but I think it is an important time to to give thanks to people who, who brought us to, to this big accomplishment. Um, first off, I want to thank my family. Thank you for, for coming here. Mom, come on. Hold it together. <laughs> it's going to be hard for me as it is. <laughs> um, for all the support that you've given, um, for trying to teach me, and, and even more modeling, hard work and patience, and caring for others and faith. Um, I come from strong heritage, and uh, thank you. Um, I'm sorry, this is going to be rough, guys. Um, to my kids, uh, they had to go home to go to sleep, but uh, Jack and Lily and Abby, uh, there were countless days where I came home just down, and uh, they'd run up and give me a hug, and, and it just made things better. Uh, I want to thank all the, all the residents here. It nearly brings me to tears, even when I'm not in front of people, thinking about leaving this place. Um, it was one of the big things that I would look at um, going forward. Scott City has two former VA grads, and that stamp means something to me because, because of you guys, because I know the quality that we get here and the kinds of people that we get, and that means a lot. Um, I've learned so much from all of you um, about medicine, about life. Um, I am just going to truly and deeply miss you all. I love you guys. Uh, to the faculty, you guys get some pretty green people uh, coming in. And, and I think it's unfortunate family medicine sometimes doesn't get the respect I think it deserves in medicine. When you guys allow us to have swagger on the ICU, uh, have swagger on the LB4, we take care of sick people. And I, I think we learn to do it well. And it's because you guys invest so much time, and uh, there's a high standard that we're, we're held to, and, and we can walk out confident. We can walk out that we've seen, we've handled a lot of things, and, and even when we, we run into things outside of the, the safety of the Acristi, there's we you know that people are phone call away, and that people are there to help you, and uh, that just means so much, and thank you so much. Beyond that, thank you for showing what it looks like to be godly doctors, to be dads and, and husbands, and, and to keep keep priorities straight, and uh, to be more than doctors, because that's that's what we're called to do. Uh, to my amazing wife Emily, thank you so much for everything. I, I couldn't. Have I couldn't survive the drain without you. I'm proud, I'm proud of your husband. And finally, to, to Jesus, um, my Savior. I just, I couldn't love if he hadn't first loved me. I couldn't, I couldn't give to others if he hadn't, hadn't given his life for me. He's the great and compassionate physician. And to be honest, he has a great model for the the patient who, who doesn't want to be helped because he sought us when, when we were unwilling to, to recognize we needed healing. I am amazed uh, when I see the, the ways that God has moved in my life and the direction that he's brought me and the people he's brought me in contact with. Uh, we serve a big God and, uh, and I just stand. Thank you, everyone.